Hey guys, welcome to Functional Print Friday. So last week at the end of the video, I gave you guys a couple different options of what we would do in this week's video. Thank you to everyone who commented and who voted on those comments. Uh, the winner by a pretty significant margin was uh, figuring out a way to mount this fire extinguisher in the back of my 1978 FJ40 Toyota Land Cruiser. So that's where I'm sitting here. I'm in the back. These seats, this is one seat. I'm on the other side. The seats actually come out from the side of the, the, uh, the vehicle. Um, and this is the rear door here, uh, the one that opens without having to uh, swing the spare tire out of the way. So I figure this is, I want to have it somewhere in this area here because it's real easy to access from this door. Um, and I've got a nice roll cage that goes up um, over top of the seat. This is the factory roll cage. I think this is 51 millimeter um, OD tubing. Um, and I've also got uh, two threaded holes here. Been looking around here for a little bit before I flip the camera on. I entertained trying to do something off these two threaded holes here as they're just unused, but I just don't think there's enough meat there to attach to. I think this guy is going to end up rocking back and forth um, for anything that we would build out of plastic. Even a metal mount might be challenging uh, to do there just from a rigidity perspective, not to mention the fact that uh, these two holes are actually on a curve. So I'm thinking we're going to go with the, the roll cage bar, and if we put this up against this, you can see um, it's almost the same width as the bar, but we need a way to strap around that. So I'm thinking maybe some sort of a flat base with maybe two straps that go around it um, and pull that base into it. I think that's going to be the way to go, and it's got to be fairly stout. Uh, I don't want to worry about this fire extinguisher falling off the mount or this thing failing years later and potentially denting up the, uh, the bodywork back here um, or just, you know, flying around even in an accident. So, yeah, so let's fire up the design software and uh, let's see what we can come up with. Okay, and here is the design that I came up with. So it is essentially one main plate that adapts uh, the surface of the pole here to the surface that we need to mount that extinguisher to. Uh, it's held in place with three straps. Uh, there's going to be screws that come in through these holes here and go directly into small holes in the straps. I'm thinking the straps are going to be TPU and this main plate is going to be PETG. That should give me the flexibility and stretch I need on these straps to get this guy nice and snug. Um, but this plate will still stay nice and straight so I have a nice flat mounting face here. If I do this piece in TPU, it might work, but I think it's going to flex a little bit around the pole as I tighten it up enough not to slide, which is going to pull this face here um, out of square. It's not, it's not going to remain flat. Uh, it's going to end up a little higher in the center, which means that extinguisher is going to rock back and forth. So. Um, it's the first time I've tried something like this, clamping around a pipe. I'm interested to see how this goes. I'm not sure how much of a gap to leave. I've left four millimeters here and I've left four millimeters on the other side as well. That is not a mistake. Uh, that is to give these guys a bit of flex uh, to pull in before I get to this face. Uh, this should, these shouldn't tighten all the way in, um, but they shouldn't be all the way out here either. Ideally, some of this gap is going to close up, maybe down to about two, three millimeters. Uh, and this guy should be nice and snug on the pole. Three straps might also be overkill. Uh, I originally had just two in the design and I added a third one in the center. Just looking to make sure I get enough friction to keep this guy from sliding down the pole. I think the extinguisher weighs, I don't know, maybe about two and a half pounds. Uh, but that two and a half pounds is going to tug pretty hard on this guy 
um, when you're going over a bump. So, all right, let's get this, uh, let's get this stuff printed. <laughs> All right, and here is our main mounting plate all set to go and two of the TPU straps. I have a third one of these printing right now and it should be ready to go by the time we are ready to go up to the barn and actually install this. Uh, so the main mounting plate came out great. Um, the one issue that I did have, and I did need to do some post-processing, uh, of course this curved section here, this printed flat down on the bed like this, and this curved section had supports underneath, uh, and it wasn't very smooth, so I just sanded this smooth, I think, with a 180 and then a 320 grit. Uh, I think I'm also going to put some foam tape on this uh, just to take up any gaps uh, in, the, in the print here between this and that steel pole. All right, so uh, what else? So this fits on here. I did add one hole in this, so uh, I put a third hole up here in the top. Uh, and I also drilled a matching hole in the plate here. Um, unfortunately, that's only through the uh, the outer skin, so it's not going to be super strong, but I just wanted to keep this top. I don't know why they didn't have, it's just really this hole and this hole. Um, there's really nothing to keep this top part straight. So this is the bottom part of the fire extinguisher down here, and this is the top part. I just wanted that to be supported just to keep it from going uh, left and right at the top. So that should be plenty strong enough, uh, just put in there like that. Uh, let's see, what else? This is really, really slippery on this surface. Uh, this material, this is probably ABS if I had to guess. This is PETG. Uh, it slides on here really easy. That's no good because the fasteners on here are really just going to pull this piece into this and we're relying on the friction between these two materials uh, to keep this guy from sliding downward whenever we hit a bump and the weight of this fire extinguisher is pulling down on it. So. If I had time for a V2, I think what I would do is actually create some keying in this face here. So you see how this is like sort of a skeleton design here. What we could have done in hindsight is had some raised sections in this piece here uh, that this keyed into that would then support the weight vertically uh, so that you know when we hit a bump or, or whatever and that the weight of that fire extinguisher is pulling down, um, it's not, we're not counting on just the friction we'd be counting on some keyed sections here. And I may do a V2 and go swap this out later, but for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna keep going with the, the V1 that we've got, and uh, I can come back out and swap this out later if I need to. Uh, what I do wanna do is uh, get the friction increased on this face here, and I think what we can do is exploit the large surface area that we have, put down some friction tape, and then the side of the friction tape that uh, is kinda like the sandpaper will be up against uh, this here, and when we screw this in, it'll be locked in place and have a lot more friction to keep it from pulling down. So let me get a piece of that cut up and we'll get that applied to this face. All right, and that is much, much better. That went on there really nice. Now we have a lot of friction between those two surfaces. So I've just got to knock the holes back through that with an awl. All right, the other thing I want to do is cut a piece of this neoprene foam uh, to fit on the back here. So this has a nice uh, sort of a cushion here to take up any differences in the uh, the face of that steel pole in the back that makes up the roll cage and the surface of this was just still a bit uneven. It's nice and smooth, but it's not quite even um, due to the supports uh, being a little bit inconsistent in that area. So let me get this foam cut and we'll get this applied as well. This is great stuff, by the way. This is it's a neoprene um, open cell foam. Uh, it's real thin and it has a nice adhesive backing on it. I'll link this stuff below if it's still available. 
Um, and I'll link to the, uh, the grip tape as well. I use both these things in projects all the time. All right, there we go, that's all on there nice and good. So now, uh, the two things that we're gonna actually have against that pole are this TPU, which is really nice and smooth uh, and soft inside, um, and this neoprene foam surface here. So pretty much guaranteed that uh, we're not gonna do any damage to the paint on that factory roll cage. All right, so I think at this point we have all of our pieces set to go. We've got uh, this face prepped, we've got this face prepped, um, I've got to go pull the third one of these loops that go around uh, the pole and attach to the back here off the printer. Um, and I think we can take this all up to the barn and get this uh, installed on the Land Cruiser. All right, so I've got you guys in a tripod. Uh, there's not a lot of room to work back here. Um, I'm going to try and capture this while I get this installed. So here's our foam back part. This is going to go right up against this bar like this. And then we've got these TPU loops uh, that are coming from behind. Um, so I'm going to get the screws into these. I'm going to try and have a, a, an even amount of gap on both sides. So as I tighten this in, uh, we don't bottom either side out. Uh, and then we'll get the mount installed on the front. And uh, we'll get the position of this where we want it. And I'll snug them up the rest of the way. Okay, so you saw me moving this back and forth. Um, what I was doing was just eyeing this up to make sure I have about the same amount of gap on either side here. So as I tighten this guy up, it's nice and even. I know if I do like two turns here, two turns here, um, and then just keep working my way around, um, it should snug up evenly. So I moved this all the way down to the bottom. I think I wanna be basically just kind of hovering off the, uh, the bottom of the, the base here to keep it out of the way of the window, keep it out of the sun. Uh, so I'm kind of just finding that spot here where I'm right at the bottom, not worried about the fire extinguisher actually hitting the bottom, um, but pretty much all the way down. All right, installation complete. Those three TPU straps snugged up really nicely. I left about a half inch gap underneath the extinguisher down to the wheel well, and it is on there really solid. And I think from a, a, just a design perspective, it looks pretty clean um, back here as well. If you're into Toyota Land Cruisers at all, uh, a little while back, I did a video uh, that I designed a cup holders uh, for this vehicle uh, as well. So I'll link that down in the description of this video if you want to check it out or just browse to the channel and you can, you can find it. I think I did it maybe four or five months ago. Uh, as always, uh, the STLs uh, for everything I do on this channel are freely available at my site, fpfdesigns.com. I'll link that down in the description uh, below as well. Uh, and guys, thanks for hanging out for the design for this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did uh, designing this and putting it in the Land Cruiser. If this is your first time on the channel, I do a new video like this every single Friday. So if you enjoyed this, consider hitting that subscribe button. And guys, if you do, I will see you next Friday. Mm -hmm.